sleeve in Geraldine. Um, stayed at the mate's place last night. On route to Tiana. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, Jacob was telling us how he's never been down this road before and uh, he's just bloody slept the whole way. All he does is bloody sleep. Yeah, boy. Jacob's decided at Tiana that he better check if his gaiters actually fit. Don taking the heavy stuff. <laughs> God. <laughs> Slow him down a bit. As you would have seen, landed in a swamp. Bradley got chewed up straight away. <laughs> and wet boots. These boys got wet boots on dry ass. <laughs> Good little flat spot. It's actually quite elevated, solid. If it rains real hard, which we're expecting rain for like 10 days, so um, it's going to be good. Hopefully, you see, we've got all the flies, our tent set. Yeah, so pretty prepared. We've got a couple of bulls bugling down the valley already, which is awesome. Um, time for a brew, I think, and make a plan get into it.
they seem to be quite mental at it. They seem to go nuts for like five minutes and then shut up for an hour. But we've got two balls over this direction that we were listening to yesterday. So we're going to try and sidle around and see if we can have a crack at them. But pretty quiet at the moment. We'll see how we go. Me, my name is Jeff. I'm very wet. And you, man? Sweet. Um, just going 130 of day two. Day yeah, two. day two, yeah. Um, got a clear weather window of about four or five hours this morning, so just been for a bit of a stalk. Um, there's a couple of a couple of balls bugling earlier on, so we we're trying to trying to get in on them but um sort of nothing really eventuated and we didn't really speak much but yeah back, in, back at camp now it's been pushing down the rain for the last one two hours sort of it looks like it's set in so yeah be stuck in camp for a wee bit i think right out this rain until it yeah. clears up a bit and hopefully something starts bugling eight days away <laughs> <laughs> love it no. Day three. <coughs> yes, we've been sitting in the rain all morning. <laughs> Bloody hammered down last night, hammering this morning, and it's been pretty, pretty relentless. Um, right up until about lunch, and we've just had a break. The forecast did say we were going to get a break this afternoon, so taken the opportunity to shoot out of camp and hunt over this direction. Haven't heard any bugling but it's been pretty terrible weather so see how we get on and sneak out for the afternoon evening. First time we've seen this thing in three days. Well, we got a bit of a weather window this afternoon. Even got some blue sky and sunshine, which was a sight for sorry eyes but yeah shot out boosted over the side of the ridge and bugled our way down and around dropped some elevation we heard one faint bugle and 
just on last light this evening we've had a couple of odd bugles and roars this direction but pretty weak nothing really just the odd one and that's it so back to camp Radix for dinner and bloody yeah we'll see what the weather's going to do hopefully we've got a window tomorrow again and we're going to drop drop elevation move camp I don't think we've got a big enough window to go to the tops this trip but yeah we're going to move camp get into some new country hopefully what have you spotted Bradley? Uh, nice nice ball nice ball way up high though would you shoot it? Uh, I think I'd want a better look at it <laughs> yeah it looks like a seven it's impossible to say how yeah. old he would be either yeah. the first yeah. animal for the trip on day three anyway Pretty mean, <laughs> how good. <laughs> Big white animal. Yeah, boy. Well, as you seen last night, we saw a bull, well two bulls actually, right up on the skyline about a K away. We've got up this morning and as the inreach said, we've got about a half day weather window before another front comes in. So we packed up camp and we're going to drop down the valley and relocate, try and check out some new country when another weather window appears. Just been navigating a sweet set of gnarly bluffs, almost down at the river and as you'd expect, right towards the bottom is where we hit them, but I think we've found a way down. The rain's back. Made it down to our next camp just in time. Got hammered by the rain for about half an hour until we found a spot where we were going to be camping and sand flies are out in force as you can see. Bloody going hard. Had a bull bugling across the valley on the way down but the weather set in for the day so I think we're bound to camp in our new campsite and see what happens tomorrow. Good. 
You wish we're on the tops right now? <laughs> it's a bit wet. No place I'd rather be. Just a little spiker. Just a little leg. Uh, yeah. That's like a calf. There's another cow up there. It's tiny. It's smaller than that one last night, I reckon. So you went back out of touch. Yeah, there. Leg on that one. That's good. Yeah. Yes, after the big slog yesterday morning. We've got that weather window, packed up camp, dropped down into the main valley. It was a good walk, it took us about four hours, had to navigate some bluffs at one point. And just as we got to where we knew base camp was, got hammered by the rain that was forecasted, got drenched, managed to set up a camp and we've been pretty much riding out the, uh, the rain ever since. All of yesterday Arvo and then all of this morning and then we finally got a bit of a break this afternoon. So we just shot out and we just spotted some some whops up the slip up here but um silence we haven't heard a bugle since yesterday morning it's been pretty hard work on the bugling the whole trip haven't been able to get onto anything in the bush so they can do with what we can we've got a good day tomorrow hopefully so see how we go with the forecast tonight Uh, nice clear afternoon. Hasn't lasted for very long, good old Fjordland. <laughs> Back to camp it is. <laughs> Worth wet boots.
Pretty awesome day today. We've had our first full day of sunshine and what's today? Day six, eh? Six days, first full day of sunshine. It was gold. We spread all our stuff out as you would have seen to get everything dry because most of our stuff was pretty saturated. And we've spotted a whoppity up on a slip up the back here in the same place as yesterday. And also um, Bradley spotted a, what looks like a young small bull that come out twice up the top up the back here so that was pretty awesome haven't heard a single bugle in over two days now and i bugled at that guy a couple of times and he's not even interested he was feeding up so um i think we've missed the bugle the tail end of it being paired three but that's all good still having fun we've got a weather front coming in again tonight and we're going to get hammered tomorrow apparently so back into sheltering from the rain we would like to stay here till last light but Jacob's headlamp has failed so we've one headlamp down and it's a bit of a tour to get up here a couple of hours from camp with a bit of a gorge and some tricky sections so we don't really want to be battling that in the dark with one man down on a headlamp. Awesome having fun loving it. Bradley loves swimming in the bush. Oh, day seven today, and as forecasted, started raining last night, and she's been pretty persistent ever since, so the forecast says we've got rain for the next couple of days, so this might be us for the next couple of days until we can get a chopper out, but we'll see what happens. Nice! Smile. Who's running, Donna? Not me. <laughs> <laughs> All the drainage is doing its job. Keeping the water out. Drains out there, drains out there. Lucky we bought a plumber. Handy having a plumber. <laughs> hey Jacob, guess what? It is raining. It is still raining. Eight days later, it's still <laughs> raining. <laughs> Oh no, Bradley cannot get out of the <laughs> What are you doing? Well, we just got a spell in the weather. I thought I'd just do a quick spiel on the freeze dry that me and the boys have mainly been eating on this trip. So we've pretty much all been converted to this, which is Radix Nutrition. Um, traditionally, we've all been pretty much backcountry eaters because you see it everywhere. And I never really minded the backcountry, I still, I still eat it, it's not um, that bad I don't think, especially when you're trying to go lightweight for hunting missions, but this stuff is just the next level. It's nicer, way more nutritional value, and you can see with the package size of this, much more package friendly for trying to fit into your pack. So this little bugger when you're trying to fit 10 days worth of food into your pack is ideal. Um, another bonus is it only takes 
175 mils of water for this main meal so you're using a lot less water too if water is tight you're up on the tops or something like that a lot more user friendly in that aspect um, you've got different options too these are the expedition 800 so you're getting maximum calories energy proteins all that sort of stuff and you can step it down to the 600s and the 450s if you don't require quite so much fill or energy um, from your meal as such so there's a few different options there um, really nice just it just feels like you're eating real food um, I've been eating a few back countries on this trip as well because I had a few to use up um, so I've been able to get a direct comparison between the two and although I still happily eat back country this is just on another level um, yeah so go and check them out they are the real deal bloody awesome And there to the job. <laughs> All packed, whoppity balls in tow. Alright so it's day 8, as you can see it's been raining for about a day and a half, we've been stuck in camp, we had some pretty hectic rain last night, like torrential rain, um, we could hear the river raging, but we've just checked the weather forecast again this morning, and we've got a bit of a weather window now through to early mid tomorrow morning, which is going to, well it's looking like our only chance to get out, we're meant to be coming out Sunday, um, but there's a good chance we won't come out Sunday and they're going to try and pick us up tomorrow anyway, so we've decided to take the window when we can being a coastal block and get out um, afternoon today hopefully but it's been a pretty um, awesome trip lots of rain we've had one full day without rain yeah awesome seeing Wapiti in the flesh for the first time all of us first time hunting Wapiti first time in Fiordland for these boys second time in Fiordland for me and it's just wicked pinnacle wilderness hunting experience I reckon is coming into a place like this and the battle of dealing with the rain and the wet and being wet all the time just adds to the experience so we haven't heard a bugle in about four days we definitely got the tail end and pretty much missed the bugle um, but yeah just fuels the fire to win another block in coming years and come back again so can't wait just loved every second of it it's all part of the experience so yeah hope you enjoyed that little video and we'll catch you on the next mission cheers <laughs>